didn't feel any fear. The last interview with Titanic's last Scottish survivor. When we were some distance away from it, there was this blaze of light. And then she dipped. Nan Pont was six years old, the daughter of John Harper, a widower and acclaimed evangelist who'd been invited to preach in America. When disaster struck, John made sure Nan and the niece travelling with them were safe in a lifeboat. She had no impression of panic. And I'm sure she had no impression at the time that she wasn't going to see her father again. There wasn't a, a, a dramatic farewell kiss or anything. It was very quick and matter-of-fact. John then made it his pastoral mission to support those still on the sinking ship, and then in the icy water where he drifted upon a young man. He asked him, are you saved? And the man, of course, wondered what he meant. And he said, do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? And the man said, no. At that point, John gave the unbeliever his life jacket, saying something like, you need this more than me. Incredibly, that man was one of only a handful plucked to safety from the sea. John was never seen again. This weekend, Harper's Memorial in Glasgow's Craigton Cemetery will be rededicated. But only the purpose of the Lord will stand and his life celebrated in a specially commissioned drama at the Baptist church he helped found, and which now bears his name. We feel that the focus should be on a man who showed his faith, even in the most horrendous conditions. Sharing the gospel was his passion, and it's certainly a memory we do not want to lose. The, the, the world doesn't want to lose. People like this as they say about good men, are scarce.